Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We have some exciting news. So this is currently the day after I did that huge water change. Weird, weird things happened. See, I cleaned the power head. It's pretty clean now. I don't think you're getting the right type of footage that you saw. Okay. Uh, this is weird. She just hosted the anemone, Maria the Clownfish. She just hosted it randomly this morning. She was going on her side, like, right there, and the shrimp cleaned her. And then now she's, like, cleaning the anemone, too. She sucks on the tentacles. It's the weirdest thing. And then here's the other one. He's okay. And finally, our little banana wrasse came out, or whatever it's called. I think it's a type of wrasse, though. It's definitely a type of wrasse. But it's prob it could be a banana wrasse, is what I thought. Um, it's right back there. We're going to be getting some coral or something. Uh, some coral, I think, today. Sorry, the light's getting all weird. See, she like sucks on the, it's the weirdest thing. Ah, uh, sorry guys, the light. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Um. so this is the tank now. I wish I could do a before and after video and I probably will do that. But yeah, the mushrooms are good. Maria is just so cool in her little anemone. I'm gonna get some Gorgonian corals in here. Um, they're like these little branching corals. I'm gonna do some research on them, but we're definitely gonna get some, see? We're gonna get some in here, stick them all over this rock. I'm gonna see which place to put them. And if they like blue light, we'll put on the blue light. We got lots of different types of light with this tank, so we're good, yeah. And we like washed everything. We even washed the top of the tank if you really wanna see. I know there's like this, oh, you probably can't see it. On the top of the water, there's this weird cloudy stuff. It's just because the light's on top of this dirty glass. Yeah, but this, this, everything else is super clean. But see, she'll come out every now and then. That's okay, though. But she loves her new enemy that she's hosted now. And the shrimp, update on him. Doing perfectly fine. He molted, though. He molted, and we took his mold out of the tank, even though it's good for them to eat their molts. I know that. We dried it out, and now it's a cool little, like, shrimp molt. Well, sorry guys, did you see anything there? Um, and then, oh geez, that does not look too good. It's algae. And then we got, unfortunately, we got, there was good things and there was bad things. I want you guys to guess, if I, if I turn on the comments, I want you guys to guess what this thing is. I know what it is, I think it's, an, Okay, don't watch the end of the video if you want to know what it is. But watch it at the end of the video if you want to know what it is, okay? Um, it's an Aptasia, I believe. If we get a perfect zoom in, it's an Aptasia right there. I believe it's an Aptasia, yeah. And this super cool anemone opened up fully. This is the size of my hand. My hand's, I don't know how many inches. I'll count later, maybe about five inches or so. This is my hand, that's the anemone, anemone, whatever you want to call it. But it's so cool, the tank's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. I guess you could say nothing is perfect, if you want. Um, there is the filter there. And then we've also, yeah, I think that's it. But I'll come with you guys, I'll come with an update tonight, um, around five or six or three, three to six or something. I'm going to make, I, I have to make the thumbnails and everything, which takes me a long time. That's why I'm waiting for more, um, better thumbnail making, whatever. But see, she goes under the anemone like that, it's so weird. I don't know if they're going to like have eggs, the two clownfish. They might, or they may not. I don't really know. But Maria's the female, and I believe that one. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything. And that little one is the male. And then there's the banana wrasse thingy that I was saying. I think it's a banana wrasse, I don't know. We got it for $19.99. We got the clownfish each for $22.99. Um, yeah, and they're perfect prices, yeah. Really good prices. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty, that's the tank now. We've got the bubbler back on. Here, I'll show you this down. Show you this down here. 
Butter coral food, don't worry. And I don't dose tanks, just so that you guys know. I don't dose the tank with coral dosing stuff. I don't know how, and I'm not going to. So there's the Seacum Fish Addicts. Um, phytoplankton. Uh, yep, it's good. It works really good for the reef tank. Well, it's gonna be a pretty good reef tank after we go shopping for our corals, and then that's that's the stuff down there. And obviously there's the test kit. We're gonna test all of our levels pretty soon. I just I just tested them last week, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, but thanks for watching, guys. Please um, subscribe because Google saying blah, blah, blah. If you don't have enough subscribers, we're not gonna let your channel be viewed on YouTube, so. That's the only reason why I'm asking. Um, well, maybe not. We're not going to let your channel be viewed on YouTube, but they're just saying that my channel won't get that much views. And the only reason why I want views is for that you guys can learn. And then share it with your family and everyone so that you know more about these fish. I know I don't give the perfect information for everything, but see you guys later. Hope you like the video. Bye.